And a fair start. Oh, Tramel with a great start. Tramel. I'm a small guy compared to the rest of the guys, but I'm still ranked number one. Here comes Shanto. And oh my he, goodness, he's got two guys going by him. The most important punch in a real fight is that first one. And that's what I tell myself, go get that first punch. Chris, you gotta go now! Let's see, you're trying to hit something about the size of a dime. Reese Hoffa, the reigning world champion, oh, and he saved the best for last. This is his last chance to jump onto this Olympic team. We win the gold medal. Words can't explain, you know, how I would feel. I'm Terrence Trammell. I'm a 110 meter high hurdler. I grew up here in Atlanta. I'm from Decatur. I graduated from Southwest Cab in uh, 1997. We definitely take pride in being from Georgia. And it's a lot of uh, people from Atlanta that are, uh, you know, Olympians. A lot of people don't understand the type of dedication it takes to be an Olympian. It's, it's not like you just get up out of the bed and you might just do a couple of laps or a lot of people ask me, well, how many miles do you run a day? It's, it's not like that at all. We're actually preparing our body to do what's humanly impossible. I think I know when I made a milestone in my training when I can do a specific workout and it doesn't hurt as bad when I finish or I was able to do it in a faster time on a more consistent basis and I didn't hurt as much when I finished. <laughs> The slightest little edge makes that much of a difference in winning or going home. If people were to ask me who was my toughest competitor or my toughest competition, I would say uh, Lu Shank from China. He's uh, the reigning Olympic champion. If anything that would get me away from my primary objective, which is winning this gold medal, uh, I don't even entertain it. Day. We're actually opening up for the first meet of the year. I feel that he's, he's in you know, very good shape. Obviously, we're going to be in better shape later on, but he's in very good shape today to run a very nice time. Up until two weeks ago, we had a minor setback as far as a very, very deep leg cramp. He was very diligent in getting that worked out and getting healed. The practices after the injury had been very, very good, so we're here today to compete. I think I had a pretty good start. Once I got my momentum flowing, you know, through the first three hurdles, I crashed number five with my trail leg. I was actually kind of surprised to know that I finished second and that I was so close at second. I mean, I thought I was like fourth or fifth. I ran all the way through the tape. I was just happy to be able to come through that race uninjured. I'm really excited about this year. If I screw up like that and have such a remarkable comeback like I did, it just means things are really gonna be good when everything is rolling. This is it, the big showdown. I'm going against China's poster boy. It's literally going to be like right before. I can't wait. This is a cool meet. I really like New York. As you can see, the fans are just really, really irate, man. I just love the hostile crowds. We were out late because of the storm. There were several storms that came through, so I actually ran almost two hours after the scheduled run. So to run at 11 o'clock at night, I think that might have broken the record for the latest I've ever run before. How you feeling? Anxious. When uh, Lu Shang said he wasn't gonna be able to run because of his hamstring, it, it, it was 
a slight disappointment because I was really looking forward to racing him. I tried to find a way to keep myself motivated, so what I wanted to do was just work on the part of the race that I screwed up in LA. And a fair start. Oh, Trammell with a great start. Trammell in the middle of the track here in lane four. Terrence Trammell. Trammell, and in lane six, Merritt. Oh, Trammell on Merritt. Oh, my. 13-11 for Terrence Trammell. I was able to come through with a pretty clean race. It had rained, and I finished up with 13-11, which is my fastest time this year, and I didn't really feel a lot of pressure, so for me to have a race like that in these conditions, I'm really happy about it, so. All right, two-time Olympic silver medalist, Terrence Trammell, going to flower to somebody. That was absolutely ridiculous, man. Uh, I didn't expect that, I mean, you know. But it just goes to show that anything can happen at any time. I'm still in shock. I'm not even going to lie. Uh, I mean, I'm okay. <laughs> Now in this second heat of the men's 110 meter hurdle semifinals, Terrence Trammell, the silver medalist at the last two Olympics. Tom, he wants nothing more than a chance at gold versus Lu Shong in the final in Beijing. But first, Trammell has to negotiate this semifinal. He's looked strong through the early rounds. Trammell very confident in his speed. This is a fair start. Terrence Trammell came out of the box well. Trammell is in front. Anwar Moore is there in second place. Hicks is coming on as well. Here comes the final hurdle, and it will be Hicks and Trammell there together. And it looks like Moore was also in there in third. Now we're ready for the men's 110 meter hurdles. And in this hurdle final is Terrence Trammell hoping for another shot at the Olympic gold medal. Jamel said the only change from the semifinal to the final is to snap that lead leg down, get it on the track and keep moving because air time is not good time in hurdling. I think this will come down to the center of your track, four versus six, Oliver and Trammell for this U.S. top two. I expect Terrence Trammell in lane six to get the best start. This is a fair start. Payne and Trammell came away together, and Oliver joins them now. Hicks is there, too, and here's Anwar Moore. Continuing with Oliver and Trammell at the line. Oliver with a lean. You've got a tough one in, in Beijing with the bird's nest, 91,000 fans, most of them cheering for Lu Zhang. How are you, you going to deal with that kind of road game yourself, Terrence? I like that, actually. Um, first, I just want to thank God for allowing me to make my third team. Um, and, you know, Going over to Beijing, it'll be great. I'll feed off of the electricity. So I'll act like they're cheering for me when they're cheering for him. I've asked you several times in other meets about Lu Zhang, and you're, you competed against him very, very well. You said you can beat him. Will you beat him in Beijing? That's the plan. That's where I'm going. <laughs> 